Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today, today we are going to understand about the modeling of inductor in LTS spice. So I will run the simulation and I will show you the impedance versus frequency plot in the LTS spice. Okay, how how inductor dominates in low frequency and while how in how capacitor dominates in high frequency and at high frequency inductor is no longer behaves like a inductor so this this all things i will run the simulation and i will simulate i will simulate this, this circuit and i will show you the waveform and the same time i'll be explaining to you okay so so this is going to be very interesting video today so if you are new to my channel please please like it share and subscribe it and if you want to donate some amount, please join, go and join the channel membership and donate some amount, whatever you want to donate it, right? So let us start the video. So you can see here, I have drawn a very simple circuit. It contains a voltage source, an inductor and one, one register. So, so let me show you the proper property of this voltage source if you go and right click on it you can see here i have defined ac amplitude as ac1 and nothing else leave it alone and let me show you the property of inductor l1 i will just right click on it and you can see since this inductor is ideal inductor okay so for the moment for the simulation i have only define the inductance value which is 10 milli henry and this is simple simple resistance okay now you have to run the you have to run the ac analysis how will you run the ac analysis so please go at this simulate button and go at edit simulation command and you can see many options here and just click on ac analysis type of sweep you can select decade number of points per decade is is 100 start frequency is 100 hertz and stop frequency is 4 megahertz that is 4000 k so this this you have to define now i will run the simulation so go at this button this is run button okay and let me show you just let me show you the plot here the just click on here and by considering the voltage cursor so you can see this is the plot so let me explain this plot here so you can see at the moment what we have done is we have considered only only the ideal inductor no other property of this inductor is defined at the moment okay so you can see this is this is this is like a simple low pass filter okay if you if you see this plot it's like a simple low pass filter and if you try to find out minus 3 db point so somewhere uh, you can see my cursor here this is the minus 3 db point if you drag it here so at some point of time here where you can see my cursor here uh, let us assume the frequency is here is around 1.8 kilohertz so you can see this is passing the frequency up to 1.8 kilohertz that means this circuit your this circuit is behaving as a low pass filter and it is totally passing uh, the frequency up to 1 kilohertz right and you can see then after that then after that amplitude is getting getting reduced so so basically this is this is the ideal property of inductor okay so if you if you know more about inductor you might have heard this that inductor have some self resonant why we cannot see self resonant in this circuit so let me explain the reason since since you can see we have here only the inductor property that is inductance if you go and find the inductor equivalent circuit so let me show you the inductor equivalent circuit so go at this help button and go at this help topic right and you can search it here inductor and let me show you the inductor right 
so if you see the if you see the equivalent circuit of inductor what you can find this is inductor this is uh, this is inductor and you can define the inductance value here and it has also a series resistance so inductor along with series resistance and it has also a parallel parasitic capacitance and it has also a parallel resistance so if you go down r s e r define equivalent series resistance r pair equivalent parallel resistance c pair equivalent parallel capacitance okay so so maybe maybe we have to define now the property of this inductor to to find out the actual inductor which 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 are now available in the market so just click on right click on here and you can find let's define the inductor peak current is 1 ampere something like let's define for 10 milli handy i define the series resistance is 42 ohm let's define the parallel capacitance some 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 around 3 picofarad okay so now you have defined you have defined your your what what you have defined your uh, your property of this inductor that means you have defined the series resistance and you have defined the parallel capacitance now let me run the simulation i have run the simulation and let me show you the the waveform you can see the voltage is in orange the voltage is this and you can see the current is this now what what you can see is that is that this is the resonance frequency if you try to find out the resonance frequency this is around this is around 900 kilohertz around 900 kilohertz so by using this resonance frequency you can find the value of parallel capacitance right you can find the value of parallel capacitance so this is resonance capacitance the resonance frequency of inductor so you can see here um, before the resonance inductor we have is like inductive and after the resonance inductor we have like a capacitive i will show you the impedance plot of this inductor how it how it increases the impedance and how impedance is decreases i will show you later the impedance plot right so so if you want to now let us delete this okay let us delete this and connect directly let us try to find out the current flowing through let us try to find out the inductance plot so how will you find the inductance plot inductance is basically is impedance is basically one upon current so one divided by current now you can see now you can see here here the the impedance plot that means the plot between your inductor impedance and your frequency right the plot between your inductor impedance and your frequency you can see this is the resonance frequency at at around 925 or 900 kilohertz this is the resonance frequency and you can see here your impedance is increasing as long as your frequency is increasing until your resonance frequency and after your resonance frequency the parallel capacitance of the parallel capacitance of the inductors comes into the picture so here after the resonance during this period your capacitance dominates and you can see if your capacitance is higher you can see your impedance start decreasing now your impedance dec start decreasing now so hope hope guys you can now model your inductor in lt spice you can see the voltage versus frequency waveform you can see the impedance versus frequency waveform how we have how, how your inductor we have throughout the frequency what is the resonance frequency what is the inductor inductive behavior and what is the inductor capacitive behavior if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video